All right, so there's no cooling pole here. I'm just checking for voltage. Plus. Not getting any voltage at any of these points here. As you can see. At about two volts. Check the input of our transformer. Uh, this one here is gonna be Neutral. Uh, Let's check the output. Secondary. Twenty-five volts there. Check up view, see what that's doing. Ah. Uh, we got twenty-five on the input of the fuse. Zero on the out. Just goes to show you some systems are literally run the blower without the fuse in at all, so check this. That's blown. Older system. We're gonna go ahead and do check the outdoor. Alright, I went in and took the front face over that cap, uh, the on contactor. You can see it's a bit pitted and the contactor just wasn't I can kind of smell it too. Let me check my voltage here. Make sure we don't have any voltage. We're good. So, I'm going to go ahead and check. I know we don't have any voltage at the contactor, but I'm pretty sure. Hey, look at that. That thing's not even. Contacts aren't even making. Contact pins aren't even making contact with the. Um, terminals. Let's check our <clears throat> my goodness. Go ahead and check the uh, coil resistance. Resistance. So there's your issue. All right. Let's go ahead and let them know. Get that thing swapped out. I don't think I've got any three phase in the truck. Well, I'll check. Uh, let's see. Jackpot. Three pole. That should do the trick. I actually kept one on. Check that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting at this thing. Two bolts there, no biggie. Swap the key. 
I am noticing now. Let's see what we got in store. It's not a not very good rejection, is it? And the air coming out is pretty hot. And yep, there you go. That'll explain that. Grimy, grimy coils. Micro channels is that. We're gonna have to clean those off for them. Okay. See, I'm not even gonna waste time. Um, I'm not gonna waste time showing you the pressures on time for it. But essentially, really, all you have to do is just if it's not discharging it evenly through and through, you know your coil's shot. You know you're not having enough. Not to mention this uh, temperature on this discharge here is piping hot, even in the shade and everything. So let's go ahead and get the sucker cleaned up. Alrighty. So with this being a micro channel, I super diluted this um, cleaner. Like really heavily diluted. That way, I guess the micro channel coals are much more sensitive. But these were very dirty, so it needed a little something. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do a... generous amount of cleaner. Through and through. Yeah, I could have, um, another thing as well when you're using cleaner, as long as you wash it off super thoroughly, don't leave any of the cleaner residue behind, it'll be good. Trying to get it to get all of that grit, heavily impacted grit from out of there. See what you can see. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Look at all that. It's getting there. You just want to basically take your time with these micro channels. Just get it all to to the water runs clear, basically. Okay, so now as you can see, there's no placement at all anywhere on this coil. It just completely flies off. So that's the way your coil should be rejecting. That's the way a coil should be rejecting. I can't place it anywhere on here. No matter where I place it, it's not going to stay. All right. Had to add about a pound of refrigerant. But other than that, she's looking good. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.